Hey everybody and welcome to this iOS development tutorial. In this tutorial series, and it will end up being a series, I suspect I'm going to do multiple videos uh, to cover this particular topic, uh, we are going to create an iPhone application that essentially has a table view whose rows are populated using data that we pull from the web from a MySQL database. So our components to this particular tutorial series are naturally Xcode, Objective-C, but we're also going to use MySQL, which is a RDBMS that's available on most hosts on the web. Um, we're also going to use PHP, again, easy to write, available sort of all over the web. And um, we're you going to use something called JSON, and JSON will be generated using PHP and MySQL. But before we get into any of the code in Objective-C and in Xcode, we are going to take a look at what JSON is. So if you have, um, or if you're familiar with JSON and you know how to generate it, you can uh, certainly skip this video and just move on to the next part in this series. Now I am using PHP in this particular scenario, but you can certainly use whatever programming language that you like. Most of them will likely have a JSON encoding function. Um, PHP is really, really easy to use, which is why I figured I'd use it as an example. Now let's look at the definition for JSON. JSON is essentially JavaScript object notation. notation. Uh, it is a text-based open standard that's designed for human readable data interchange. Uh, it's derived from JavaScript, as you can tell from the name. It's used to represent simple data structures and associative arrays called objects. And it's language independent, uh, despite its relationship, as you can tell from the name, to JavaScript. So hopefully this is a good example and tells you all you need to know about JSON and how you can use it. Just kidding. We'll take a look at some sample JSON code. And I think this is actually the easiest way to understand what JSON is. What you have to remember is that if we jump back here to the previous slide, the JSON can be used to, to represent simple data structures. It's essentially like an associative array. Now, if you look at the JSON code, what I've done here is I've got one big block. Uh, this is all JSON. And within it is several different rows. What's happening here is I've got a MySQL database and I've written some PHP code and that I'll show you in a second. And that code is essentially pulling the data out of the database and uh, displaying it as JSON. Now we talked about key value pairs. So let's take a look at just this first record that is in uh, this key value pair format. So key value pair simply means there's going to be a key, like in this case it's ID or city name or city state city population country and each key has an associated value so here you see the ID is one uh, city name is London city states London the population uh, country and kingdom and if you look at the remaining code you'll see that all of these things take the exact same format so you have a key and you have a value associated with it this makes it extremely easy for us to sort of traverse through the structure and use it it's easy to read uh, for us as humans as well uh, let me take show you real quick also the database that I um, am using and I will go ahead and give you the code um, it's a pretty simple database um, or simple set of uh, simple table within the database that we're using so I've just got um, a database that I'm using here you'll see there's nothing much it's a uh, there's an um, an attribute called ID which I use as my primary key then I've got a city name state population and country this directly corresponds with what you're seeing in the JSON data and then I just did you know a couple little inserts and put that stuff in there so easy uh, no problem I'll give you the script that way you can just go ahead and run that on uh, your database server and set this up so you can kind of test against your own database uh, instead of depending on mine um, I'm also going to show you uh, the PHP code that we wrote um, to connect to this particular database server and I will make this also available to you so that you don't have to really spend a lot of time on this portion uh, since this is really an iOS tutorial I didn't want to have to waste a bunch of time explaining this but let's just jump, zip through this code real quick so you can see what's going on um, I've got a couple different variables that I'm defining in PHP uh, you'll see the host which is our database host server the name of our database the username and password these are of course all made up values you'd want to replace this with yours then we try and make a connection to the database using the mysql underscore connect function we check to see if the connection was made if it wasn't we fail with an error otherwise we try and select the database using the mysql underscore select underscore db function 
then we check to see were we able to select the database if no then we throw an error if yes then we go ahead and set up our query and we run that query then we put all of the record sets into an array by using this mysql fetch underscore underscore fetch underscore associated um, put that in an array and then this is the simple little function that does all of the magic so the json underscore encode function gets past our array here and it essentially will output all of that data as JSON so it's super easy to do in PHP again like I said I will give you this code um, all you would have to do is create the database uh, using the script I provide and or use whatever script you like and um, just generate the JSON data appropriately so I hope this was helpful in giving you a quick glimpse as to how easy it is to generate JSON uh, using PHP and MySQL in the next next couple tutorials we'll be really looking at the iOS side of things where um, we set up our application to be able to consume that data and uh, really create something cool so thanks for watching we'll catch you in the next video